welcome back to the channel. We have a little bit of a different setup for recording today. Um, got my 68 Custom Deluxe in the back because I wanted to talk about uh, tremolo today and uh, specifically harmonic tremolo, which this amp does not have um, and how we're gonna get it. Specifically, uh, my new harmonic, uh, my Harmonious Monk harmonic tremolo pedal I just picked up on Reverb um, by Jam Pedals. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of harmonic uh, tremolo and, and what the effect is and how it can be used. Um, uh, just like reverb or tremolo, it's another way to add texture to your sound. Um, if you're not interested in hearing me babble about harmonic tremolo, if you're not a real tremolo hound uh, and you just want to see the pedal, uh, you can skip ahead. I'm going to time mark the video. But uh, other than that, let's get into it. Okay, so what's the deal with harmonic tremolo? Well, as the name suggests, it's a modulation effect like tremolo, but it's a little, a little bit unique. And where did I run across this? I didn't actually know about this uh, until recently, uh, during the pandemic, spending lots and lots of times listening to the uh, Greg Cock live streams on his channel. You will notice his glorious cock amplifier signature amp, the Greg. Um, has this very nice tremolo effect called a harmonic tremolo. And looking into it, it turns out that this is an effect that, you know, goes back to the early 60s brown face fender amps. Um, I believe the Pro, the Bandmaster, the Super, and the Showman had this uh, primarily harmonic tremolo. And if you actually analyze the circuit, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of unique. There's a variety of versions of it. Uh, the most common, I believe, is a three-tube version. The first tube, as shown in the schematic, um, creates an LFO like a traditional tremolo. Um, the second tube actually sort of is a little bit of a waste, but uh, what it really is doing is creating um, a second copy of the LFO that's 180 degrees out of phase um, from the input. So now we have two copies of this LFO that are 180 degrees out of phase. And what they do is they go onto the last tube and they modulate your signal, uh, your actual audio signal through that tube, um, one on the plate, one on the cathode. Um, but your signal does something unique before hitting that tube. It goes through some, some, some RC circuits and one of them is a high pass filter, one of them is a low pass filter. And so what happens is uh, every half wave of the cycle or 180 degrees out of phase, you start hearing your signal high pass filtered and then low pass filtered and then high pass filtered and then low pass filtered. And so that really is sort of a phase modulation, but it's really a, a frequency response modulation where you're hearing your, your signal go through two different filters. So it's really a filter modulation effect. It's a little bit different than Univibe, but it sounds a lot like Univibe, and it's a pretty cool effect. Now, that Greg Cox signature amplifier runs like $2,700, which is pretty spendy for... Um, buying an amp just for harmonic tremolo. Uh, although, you know, if it's got a lot of other features that look really interesting too, but I've already got nice amps. I don't want to have to go do that. Um, other things on the market currently I looked were like the Milkman uh, 15 HT. That's north of $3,000. That's fairly boutique. Um, also probably out of the price range for many people. The good news is that there's a number of pedals on the market that do it, and the uh, good folks during the live stream had pointed out to me um, this pedal, the Harmonious Monk by Jam Pedals. And so uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, purchase this pedal on Reverb. I, got, I bought it used. I got a little bit of a deal, but it's still a fairly uh, spendy pedal north of $200. Um, so kind of boutique, but there are options on the market that are cheaper. So uh, yeah, let's uh, check out this uh, pedal and uh, see what's happening with it. Let's, uh, let's take the time to unbox this pedal. Thankfully, the previous owner uh, saved the packaging. So we still have all our boutique packaging. And uh, yeah, let's see what it looks like. Sleeve. Outer sleeve, I guess. This is the uh, description of the pedal. We'll figure it out box and pedal comes in it's nice uh 
cloth bag labeled jam petals. You can kind of see that there. And put that down. Some more goodies, uh, probably a booklet. Some stickers and some feet. And uh, more stickers. You definitely get what you pay for now, I guess. Uh, there you go. All right, so here is the pedal in its bag. Uh, you can see jam pedals. You can pull it out. Uh, this is the pedal. You can see the nice graphics. Name of the pedal on this side and jam pedals on this side. Mick and Dan from that pedal show are on this side. Uh, yeah, so I guess they're uh, associated with jam pedals for this for this pedal at least. I don't think all of them, but at least for this pedal. Uh, so what's the deal with this pedal? Well, it's a it's a harmonic tremolo. It's also an amplitude tremolo. So one of the settings here is A and H on this toggle switch. Uh, I could do without the amplitude tremolo because my amps have uh, amplitude tremolo. But if you have a non Tremolo amp, it could be a, a setting to get yourself into amplitude tremolo. It's a good effect. Um, I prefer it on my tube amp uh, directly. Uh, other great things about this pedal. Well, being a boutique pedal and being a little spendy means you have to have lots and lots of controls. So we have four knobs and this, uh, this switch, and obviously the switch I just talked about for the tremolo setting between harmonic and, and, and amplitude. Um, so here are the controls. L is sort of a uh, overall level of the pedal. Uh, S here is speed of the tremolo. D is depth of tremolo. So I think all the way up nearly basically will shut your sound off. That is, it will go down to zero signal level uh, when it modulates and then sort of in between. And then uh, mix, it, M is for mix, which is just sort of a wet dry mix. That is, you can get uh, more dry signal and then more tremolo signal or something in between. That's a nice, that's a nice feature. And then this toggle switch for plus and minus is sort of intense tremolo or less intense tremolo. And it's sort of just a, a two a factor setting. I think it just sort of boosts, uh, how the depth knob actually works. Although I'm not sure you'd have to go actually read the manual and the foot switch here turns the pedal on. And this foot switch actually does something unique, which is it doubles the speed of the tremolo. Uh, at the at the touch of a, uh, of a switch so that might be interesting uh, i've yet to really figure out how to use that properly uh, the one downside i would say about the pedal is that the jacks are on the side that is the input jack and the output jack are on the side uh, most guitar players and modern pedals want them on the top for pedal board compactness and the the nine volt is also on the side which it's kind of strange in my opinion. Uh, that's okay. Uh, it will fit on the pedal board. That's not going to be a problem. So I guess next we'll uh, plug this thing up and uh, hear how it sounds. All right. Hopefully you guys can see a uh, pedal cam view. Uh, so we're really stepping up the uh, quality or lack thereof of the channel. Uh, two cameras. It's a first for me at least. Here's the sound of the guitar, clean. It's just a 68 Custom Deluxe. No reverb, no, no, no tremolo. And now the sound of the, uh, of the pedal. So let's turn it on. Activate sneaker foot. It's uh, it's uh, it's a it's an enthralling effect. I really like it. It uh, it pulsates. It kind of shimmers and swooshes. Like I said, it's a lot like Univibe, but it's kind of its own unique thing. Um, so yeah, if uh, 
If you are a tremolo hound, uh, this is definitely something that you might want to add to your pedal board or find an amp if you got the uh, if you got the dollars to pay for the expensive amps that have the harmonic tremolo. Um, but anyway, uh, I thought I would share. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, if you like the content, hit subscribe, uh, like. If you don't, you know, leave me nasty comments. It is the internet, and I love to get them. Take care.